Hello and welcome to this video on how to create model sets. As your scene becomes more convoluted and your scene tree becomes busier, it can be beneficial to create model sets to keep everything organized. The benefits of model sets are that they allow you to view an assembly in different configurations. They can allow you to view different model sets in the same environments with different camera setups or they can be pulled into different studios to create different variations of different scenes. You can also pull them into the configurator along with all your multi-materials, environments and cameras. To create a model set, just go to your scene tree. You can see this little arrow on the left here. If you just click that, it'll expand your model sets collector. Currently, we have the default selected. We need to create new model sets. If we just go to these little shapes up here and click that, you can see that it gives this dialog box. We can see here that you need to enter your name. You can link the materials across the model set and you can always keep the model set visible as well if you like with that checkbox. In this window down here, you can see everything that's present in the scene tree. But for a model set, we only need one model visible. So I'm going to uncheck these boxes here and I'm going to call this model set one and I'm going to hit OK. So we can see that over here, the default model set is still present, but it's unchecked, so we can't see it in the scene. And it's created a new model set and called it model set one. We could actually recheck the default model set to keep it present in the scene as well. And actually, if we're going to create a second model set, we actually want to uncheck the first model set and keep the default one visible. That way, when you come back into this window, all the check boxes are ticked again. And for this model set, I want the flat tablet and the stylus to be visible. So I'm going to uncheck the laptop assembly and I'm going to get rid of the standing tablet as well. And I'm going to call it model set two. and hit OK. OK, so now you can see the tablet and the stylus are only avail available at the moment. And now I'm going to go back and check the default model set again, uncheck the model set 2, and create a third model set with just the standing tablet available called model set 3. And hit OK. So once you've created your three model sets, the next thing you might want to do is create a studio. Studios allow you to house multiple elements of your scene in one place. So you could have cameras, environments, multi-materials and model sets all in one place with multiple iterations available so you can flick through different variations of the same scene. It's just another means of keeping your scene nice and tidy. So if you want to create a studio, all you do is you go up to your ribbon and select studios which then brings up this window here on the left. You can see here in the window that in a studio you can have cameras, environments, image styles, model sets and multi-materials. For our first studio, I want model set 1 to be visible. And I have a camera angle set up for it. And I'm going to keep this environment and when I hit plus, you'll see it creates the studio and I know that because it's now recognized all the multi-materials associated with this model set. It's also a good idea to develop a habit of rendering out thumbnails for your studios. This allows you to differentiate between multiple studios. So now I'm going to go and create a second studio. I'm going to go back up here and press plus and I'm going to select the second model set and I'm going to find the relevant camera for that scene. And I might change the environment as well. And we can see it's also recognized the multi-materials for this one as well. And I'll just hit render thumbnail again. And for the third studio, we'll just go back to the plus sign 
and we'll add model set three. And we'll add the relevant camera angle. Keep the HDRI as it is. Just double check the multi materials. And then finally, render out our thumbnail. So there we have it. We have three studios, as you can see when we scroll through. And in combination with the three model sets that we've generated, and all the multi materials and environments that we've used, with all the cameras. We've now got a very diverse and quite complex scene that's actually very easy to navigate. That's all from me. See you next time.